Welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joseph Moore here, and I am finally back from my long hiatus. I know I fell off the face of the earth, but we are back. We are better than ever. We are joining a new league called the National Pokemon Association. So the NPA. Um, new to us anyway. And we are about to take on a person we have faced before, and that is Kiwi and coach of the team tempest and we are probably going to get destroyed just gonna be honest with you uh i drafted this team and i had like half an idea of what i wanted and then i had to change it up halfway through so none of this pokemon makes sense when we only had one move for the grace period so it's not like i could have made it up at that point either so you know we're gonna go into week one and we're gonna try to just you know get a cheap win or get destroyed either one but uh good luck have fun kiwi uh i'll try to have your link in the description and let's have fun with our first ever gen 9 draft league battle and he brought pretty much everything i thought he would um no duck trio to worry about so that's great um uh, he might want to lead off with webs So with that, I'm going to lead off with Kraken. So he's either leading off with um, Webs or Rotom. Either way, I am just going to Dragon Dance and start swinging, really. If he goes uh, Rotom, actually... If he goes Rotom, I'm going uh, Tenta Toad Scroll because I don't want to get tricked into a uh, choice specs, choice whatever it wants to give me. But we shall see. We shall see. Definitely need to keep webs off the field though because that could be a problem for our team. Especially with that back Scalibur. Hopefully he doesn't have Ice Shard on it, but you know, he's very much good. And there's the masquerade. Ooh, green shiny. Against our red shiny. Oh, he's going to intimidate us. Oh, this kind of sucks, but that's kind of fine. Um, I'm going to go dragon dance. I'm going to just try to hit hard right out the gate. We are moxie, so we're going to get an attack boost, if anything. He goes U-turn, which is fine. So that goes back to Kiwi. What does he go into here? Probably the Rotom. And if he does go Rotom, we're going to attack. But we're going to Terrasolite, then attack. I mean, he can still Choice Scarf us, but at that point, we'll get rid of a big problem. And that'll be fine. So let's see what he decides to go to here. We are we are neutral attack because of the intimidate. We are plus one speed. So we're not gonna hit anything ridiculously hard, but we shall see. Oh he goes back scalibur right out of the gate. I'm gonna go ahead, terrestrialize steel, and click outrage. So let's see how his defensive investments are because this is going to hurt. Might not knock it out because this Bass Caliber is bulky as fuck, but it should still hurt. So we get the Outrage off. And eh, does does a good chunk and he goes Icicle Spear. So that's not going to do much. Oh, it does. It actually does quite a bit. My goodness. That attack stat is ridiculous on that thing, and that's a resisted hit. So we're going to get a Outrage on something else. He did not bring his Fairy-type Dedene, which I was pretty sure wasn't coming because he has a Rotom. So why bring Dedene? So I'm going to go ahead and get another free hit off on something or knock this thing out. Which knocking this thing out would be great. So if I didn't terrorize there, I would have got knocked out for sure. Because that would have been neutral uh, Icicle Spear hits. 
So let's see what he decides to do here. We are on 20 minute timer, by the way. Um, so we'll just have to see how that goes. So Masquerade is going to come back out. He's probably focused Ash. Going to uh, intimidate us once again. So it might not even knock it to the sash at this point because we're negative one again. Yeah. <clears throat> so at this point. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm, I was stuck in outrage. All right, due to fatigue, but we are Lumberry, so we're going to not be confused. And he's probably going to go... Oh, you turn. Okay. I mean, we're still chunking his team. There's no webs on the field, so I'm still okay with what's going on here. Especially since uh, uh, Excalibur is pretty chunked up, too. Nothing on his team should be faster except the Rotom. And honestly, I don't think we'd live a hit from it anyway. But we could still switch out to to uh, Toad School. But Kraken here has done a mighty fine job chunking his team from the start. Even with the Intimidate drops. He probably doesn't want to take that hit though. Maybe he's not Scarf on Rotom. Because I feel like a Leaf Storm or something could take me out from this point. I certainly can't knock anything out besides the back scalper though. Alright, Quaquavel. That I'm going to switch. <clears throat> I will switch to Liberty Bell on that note. Save Kraken for later. Uh, take this neutral. Oh no, Aqua Step. So we'll resist it. Oh no, we don't resist it. Water resists steel. So. There's that. We'll go ahead and reflect. And let's see what he decides to do. If he Swords Dance, that's a problem. If he just attacks again, that's kind of fine. But I mean, Quaquavel is a dangerous monster to deal with to begin with. So let's see what he decides to do. Oh, he switches out. Okay. He goes Rotom, which is fine by me. So we get Reflect off. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Toad Scroll. Because if. I don't want him to Volt Switch on me, and if he Leaf Storms, that's fine, because we can take that. Oh, you got Shadow Ball. Okay, we can take that, too. Not a problem. And we have Leftovers, so. We stay chunky. We stay, we stay, not chunky. We stay, we stay good. I'm just going to Sludge Bomb here. Uh, he didn't bring a Steel-type. So we get a decent chunk off something. And if he doesn't... Well, he's going to hard switch anyway. He can't bolt switch. So, Oh, we're actually faster. But that took that damage pretty well. So he must be... I don't know what he must be. What item. Because we're faster. So that, that explains that. He's not scarred. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just Sludge Bomb again. No reason to not to. Hopefully we get the poison here. That way we can start Hexing. On the next turn. Nope, no poison. I guess we're just going to swing. We're in a swing battle. He doesn't want anything to take the Sludge. Sludge Bomb, and I don't really feel the need to switch out, so... This, this was my answer for Rotom. So, the fact that he's staying in is kind of working out for me. And my poison luck clearly is not good because I haven't gotten it yet. 
There we go. Shadow Ball. I wonder what he brings out next, though. Because Coquavo could be a problem. Maybe he's just stalling out my my screen. I'm just going to keep going Sludge Bomb. He knows I'm left over, so it's not like I'm bluffing anything. But this way we get the knockout and we get the health back from leftovers as well. Unless he switches for some reason. And he does not. So we get the knockout. First blood. First blood for Tenta Scroll. Or Toad Scroll, sorry. No disrespect to you, Toad Scroll. Mr. Squidward. Alright, what's next? So what's coming out next? Oh, Chi Yu. Okay. And this lowers the special defense of your Pokemon. I'm just going to Spore. I'm okay with Squidward going down at this point. It doesn't really wall anything else. It could have helped with Garganical, but I'm okay with this. Alright, so now I'm going to bring out Princess Leia, because that's... Oh, Princess Leia. It's supposed to be Princess Leia. But this is what this thing was meant to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and body press. I mean, nothing's going to want to... Oh, it's not like nothing's going to want to take a body press from this thing, but it's going to do a good chunk to something. Most things, anyway. It stays in. So Dark Pulse, we take that okay. We are max HP, max special defense. Maybe for a max defense, we could have knocked that thing out. And I'm just going to body press again. Stay in, stay in. Please stay in. Hopefully you stay in. Nope. Switches out. What does they go to? Masquerade. So he's going to let Masquerade go down. Lowers my... A uh, clear amulet is not going to allow that. So, boom. Whoop, there it is. So, our attack is not lowered, and we're good. So, now what does he bring in? Garganic. All right, so Garganic will... I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go into Emo Dragon. Garganical is a pain because there's no physical move that's going to hurt it. Oh, salt here figured, figured as much. That's going to do a good chunk to us. Okay, not as bad as I thought. But now we're going to Draco Meteor. We should do a good chunk of this thing ourselves. Uh, he might Terrastalize. wonder what he would Terrastalize to. Uh, my prediction is Dark. That's what I've been prepping for. I mean, sorry, not Dark. Ghost. Because we do have a bunch of uh, Body Pressers on our team. And that might be a way to deal with this thing. Alright, so Garganical takes a chunk. We get our Eject Pack to switch back out. And now I'm okay with going to Kraken here. Let's see what he decides to do. Avalanche. Okay, nice. So that was perfect. And he is leftovers. I'm going to go for a dragon dance. I know Salt here is going to hurt, but he might try to recover. Oh, he's terastalizing. All right. All comes down to what he does here. The ghost. All right. So we made the right prediction. Thanks to the help of uh, Kuriki. 
When we were doing prep, he made it obvious he was going to go ghost. Salt Cure is going to hurt us a little bit more, I think, because we're steel types right now. I think it hurts waters and steels a lot more. But hopefully we get a good chunk off here. If we can live. Oh, yeah, we live. All right. Now we got to. What would our most. I'm going to go Outrage. It's our most powerful hit. And it's not resisted. So let's see how this goes. I mean, if he has recover, he's clicking it here. Oh, we did a good chunk, but not enough. Not enough. Okay, so he's going to go. He did that, which was obvious. Man. Not one to wish for a crit, but that would have been nice there. So Kraken goes down. I should have just swung twice. Two outrages might have done enough. But we're going to go back to um, Emo Dragon here. Tonight will be the night that I will shadow ball you. And hopefully the shadow ball does a good chunk. That did nothing. Oh, wow. That was a crit. Avalanche is going to hurt. But we live it. So maybe a Draco Meteor can knock this thing out. Maybe. Maybe a Draco Meteor will be enough. It is! Alright, so woo, one big wall out of the way. Woo. If he goes Chi Yu, that's fine. We let this thing go down. So okay, we we in this battle. That was one of the scariest Pokemon I was gonna have to deal with there. Alright, he's gonna get a free Aqua Step again. I'm going to switch. That's Death Fodder for later. But I just don't want him to build up on this Aqua Step here. Well, I want to be able to handle him even with the Aqua Step is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to reflect again. Is that enough? It is enough. All right, but his attack is down. His defenses are down now. So that's better for us. He gets a Moxie Boost attack, but he's only plus one. And we're going to be faster. Future. I don't know why I didn't put a flying type attack on this thing. Probably not the best thing that I did. Uh, and it resists dark. So, I think I lose from here. Dragon Pulse. Hopefully we get a kill. It is minus one defense. Uh, special, special defense. And I don't know how bulky it is naturally. But we are going to be faster because of our, uh, our boost. So it all comes down really if he lives his hit because plus two, I don't have much else that can take a hit. Oh shit. Okay. Do we go down? Yeah, we lose from here. Because even if uh, our puppy lives a hit from close combat or aqua step or something, um, we then have nothing for Chi Yu. And that is game. So, GG's. And we get our first loss to a Coquavel of all things. Uh, let's see if we live the hit. Maybe we get one more kill at least.
But yeah, Kiwi just had a tough team to start out. I mean, our team was pretty defensive, but as you can see, not enough. I guess he'll decide what move he wants to go for. Aqua Step, of course, is the smartest move. And that is game. GG Kiwi in week one of Gen 9 MPA. And he's proven how busted Moxie can be on this Pokemon, especially with those free speed boosts he's getting. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that week one battle. We're in it for a little bit, but uh, one one false move and got us out of it so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time